What would you do if I couldn't cook? <laughs> Hi, I'm Fly Reynolds and I'm back. New season, new date. And to be honest with you, I'm not impressed with the dating scene. I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. I've given some high scores. I hey. thought we might as well do the date properly. Ah, oh, see, I like this. And I've definitely given some low scores. So, like, I'd just say being as Caribbean lingers with nice jugs. Oh, my God. It's time to find a man that can tick all the boxes. Do you know what? There wasn't actually any red flags. Wow. This is grilling. Oh, hi. Uh, my name's Bash the Entertainer, and, um, I'm here to, to do well, to do a 10 out of 10. And I've got a lot of dates. Um, yeah, could say that. I'm a romantic guy, very romantic guy. Am I ready? I mean, let me do my ready face. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready. Do, do, do. Hi, hello. Hello, stranger. What's she doing? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> How are you? Uh, I'm blessed. I'm good. Yeah, little secret is uh, I, I, I kind of know her, innit? So, see, see how this goes. Well, pleasant surprise to see you, Bash. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It feels good to be here, actually. Man. Cheers to that. It's been a long time. Okay, what's this one I'm having? Raga. Raga, yeah. This one's the black grape. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Am I doing a sip or like a big thing? Big one, yeah? It's up to you. It's, in there. it's gonna be a good day. Is that what we want? <laughs> 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 All right, that's quite nice, you know? It's really nice. Oh, wow. Tell me about yourself. Obviously, my name's Bash. Uh, 29, happy dude. Um, nice to everyone. And um, yeah, just, I just love life, innit? I love partying a lot, but... Um, Are you crazy, partying? I'm a party star. I, lo I love like mosh pits and having a good look little wine now and then. Red flag, party boy. Yeah. But um, I keep it PG. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a madman, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Would you say you're a good boyfriend? I don't think I am. I know I am. Hundred percent. I know I'm a good. Yeah, a good boyfriend. He's a bit full of himself. When I'm dating, um, the person I'm with gets all my attention and. Um, I basically just shower them with gifts and just love and time. That is a narcissistic trait, love bombing. Do you know what <coughs> love bombing is? No, please So explain. basically, um, there's this term that like a lot of narcissistic men do. Hey, Fram, she just called me a narcissist, you know? So basically, what they'll do is they'll buy you loads of gifts, ah. so you kind of like fall for, fall for like the fairy tale thinking that they can just buy your love. Yeah, but my gifts are not like what you're expecting. Bags and shoes, nah. Do I look like a girl that wants bags? A little bit. Um, no, nah, my, my gifts are more like, you know, a little chocolate now and then, you know? Okay. A pair of shoes now and then. Um, I don't do the, the big boy bags and big boy dresses and stuff. Like, it's just little... Little gifts. Little, little small things that you won't expect, but oh my God. You know, a little yeah. jewellery now and then. I, don't, I didn't think that was... No, no. Narcissistic. I can't <laughs> say the word I like. Yeah. What do you look for in a woman? Personality, you know? Yeah. She gotta be funny. Because yeah. I love to laugh. Um, I look for a woman that kind of matches my hyperness. I'm a hyper guy. So if you're at that stage of silliness, then yeah, you're, you're a tick for me. Tick. Like, looks, size, colour, that don't matter to me, to be honest. You know? If I vibe with you and you're, you're mad funny, then yeah, I'm... But what gets your attention though? Because you can't just walk in, walk in and be like, oh, I bet she's got a good personality. She will be pretty, you know. I don't want to sound too rude, but... No, come on! You know what I'm I don't want to sound too, too, too rude, but... You know, I, I, I love big girls, innit? Have you heard that song? Big girl, you are beautiful. Choon! I love it. Do you know this might be mad? But I love a little bit, like, belly. I love that. Yeah. You know, love love handles. Yeah, that's my thing. You know these ones? Yeah! <laughs> I love that. Bash, what's a red flag for you? Red flag. Ooh, just one. You can, you can listen. Um, smoking. I hate girls who smoke. I don't mind vapes. You can drink, yeah, you can drink, but... I mean, listen, you're party boy, so th if you were about to say no drinking... But my party is more Red Bull and water. Okay. I don't really need alcohol to have a good time. Oh, I like this, when you can actually just have a little time without alcohol. Smoking, 
don't 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 drink like a proper madman. I'm very OCD. I'm very clean. So uh, if a girl is not that clean, <laughs> that, that's a whole list. I'm the type of guy. Do you know what? Other people say like toxic girls are red flags, but I, I love craziness. Like, I love I love it. I, I get. I don't know. It, it's it's mad for me. I love toxic. You know? Oh, you're crazy. I'm on a rush. You're toxic. Yeah, I love. <laughs> So you want it spicy? So you want that toxic love then? No, not toxic. Yes, but you not. No, I like to just. Oh, how can I explain it? Not like toxic, like yeah, you bring a shank to the yard and that. Like, nah. No, that, that's that's just mad. I love like craziness. Like, where are you going? Like, what, what do you mean, woman going? Like stuff like that. I don't so know. you want a con like a woman that controls you? A little bit sometimes. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm not. That's lit, you know. That's lit. I love getting told what to do. You know what I mean? Be my teacher for a little bit. You get me? What do you say? You're submissive then. <laughs> and yes, you are. for pleasure, yes. But <laughs> obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm a man, and I got, I've got to uh, be the boss sometimes. Really? Yeah, really? yeah of course. Really? Definitely, hundred percent. But sometimes, you know, you know, bedroom. Um, yeah, you gotta be submissive sometimes. Yeah, yeah, balance. Yeah, man. Tell me what to do in that. You get me? I like maybe, that. Maybe crawl on the floor in that. Would you? Yeah, of course. Get on the floor. Yeah, for my lady, of course. Listen, he said he's gonna get on all fours. He's submissive. The tick. Yeah. I'll do some things to a certain point in it, but you know. Really? Yeah. Give me fetches. Oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> brother! She's proper asking me the maddest questions about some things I don't want to answer. Um. Oh man, my fetches are mad. Come on then. Oh, they're so mad. I love mad. Uh, I, I don't do feet and stuff. No, I'm not about that. Who doesn't like feet? I appreciate a good foot. Okay. I don't know. I just I love it. Like if a girl like eats food off my body, in it. Yeah. Stuff, I'm mad. Oh, I have this mad story, but I don't think I can say it. it's not PG. Come on, it's fine. Oh, no, it's not PG. Story I can't time. say I can't say you that. You can bleep some bits. You can bleep it. I can't wait to hear what's going to come out of his mouth. This one time, uh, obviously, quite younger, met a girl on Facebook, we talked and stuff. Went to her yard and um, she put, you know the little jams you get on the plane? The little wee Nutellas and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, she just spread Nutella on my man's like, bum and that and licked it off. What? Yeah, 100. No way. Nice. I love that, and you said it with chest. Of course, I don't mind. I don't, oh, nothing to hide. Listen, I love an honest man. Involving food when we're doing things, yeah, that's mad. Yeah, creative. You know, a little strawberry sauce somewhere. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little strawberry somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. So like one of your five a day. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pineapple slices and that area. Yeah, pineapple's good for you. See, it makes your your thing taste different. Exactly, it makes you taste sweet. I, I don't believe it, but you know. It does. How do you know? <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> How about yourself? Yeah? I do like nice feet. Feet? Nice, yeah. Yeah, you're them ones, innit? What do you mean them ones? Yeah. You're like, if someone's feet are nice, you're, you're proper. You're, you, would you suck feet? Yeah, I'm um, saying. Yeah. My fetishes were nice, you know? It's about food and strawberries and sauces in, in places. Chat about feet and that. Oh, come on, who does feet? The big toe and the pinky. <laughs> huh? Oh, you're nasty. <laughs> so you do between the toes as well? No. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Don't you make okay. it sound not hot? Like it's it's nice. Okay, feet. What else? What other fetish is? That's why I like everything. So I don't know if it's like a fetish because I just I'm open to. You like, you like being told what to do? Yeah, but I, I like to be more dominant though. But I can be submissive. Any weapons? Not weapons, but I'm not saying weapons. Like whip. Yeah, them them lot. Possibly. Really? Wow. Ah. Yeah. I, I can do with a little slap now and then, but a no, don't bring no whips. Could you not? Nah, do you I not? feel like you would take a whip. I'll take a little choke. I'll, 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 I'll take a choke. I'll take a little slap that's calm. But if you bring a whip, it made me like go on all fours <laughs> and that. Yeah, long. For the right girl, I'll do it. Bash, tell me a bit more about you and your upbringing. I'm from Congo. I moved from Congo to London, East London. Um, then I went to Scotland. So that's why if, if you hear me speak a long time, you hear my accent changes a wee bit. Um, got breathed a lot became a sex symbol, became a comedian, and now I'm this guy. Not that interesting, to be honest. What? That's a story. Yeah, there what is. Don't be that interesting. Don't be humble. Like, <laughs> that's a story. There's little things that, that's happened that, that's made me this guy. But yeah, I'm kind of happy with the guy that I am to, like, today. Yeah, so what was like, so you said you got bullied. Mm -hmm. um, what age was you? Do you know what? When I went to, I went to primary school in East London. Um, so that, that was calm because there was like a lot of people my colour, do you know what I mean? But uh, when I moved to Scotland, at the beginning, it was more, obviously more white people and it was quite hard to fit in. So I feel like that's where my comedy came from. Yeah. Um, I feel like trying to be the funny guy and trying to do, make everyone laugh and stuff. 
I feel like I kind of had to do that so I don't get attacked as much. So yeah. we got to the point, like, oh no, I don't bully him, you know, it's a funny guy. I feel like my past has made me the person that I am today. And then, yeah, went from using that as protection to now it's a career, so. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's, cool. that's good. I love that for you. Thank you. That's amazing. Appreciate, appreciate. It's like turning like kind of pain into purpose. Yes, like, no, like, I feel like a lot of comedians come from, from pain, to be honest. Like every comedian I watch, yeah. they've had those type of stories and, you know, look at them now. Do you find like being like a funny guy, it's hard because you're always having to like wear a mask. So how do you deal with mental health? <clears throat> I feel like before, <clears throat> I used it to kind of mask what I'm going through. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people see like stuff that I post online and they'll be like, oh, bro, this guy's so funny. And I, I appreciate all that, but I went through a stage where it was just mad stress, depression, anxiety, and I'm the type of guy where I'm not afraid to say how I feel. I'm not afraid to cry in certain situations, but I just felt like, I don't know, man. You know, sometimes it's like, you're a man, so you have to like, you're like, man up, you know, big man thing. So you kind of like, don't say shit. Now it's like, bruv, I want to cry, I'll cry. I'll cry on live, on TikTok, whatever. Yeah. But because I want, I don't want everyone to go through what I went through. Like going through mad stress and depression is mad. You get to points where your thoughts make you want to do things you don't want to do, as in you madness, do you know what I'm saying? So I know how that feels and it's very shit. And I will never want anyone that I know or anyone that influence to go through that. So yeah. that's why I, I project happiness and smiles, even though I'm going through madness, but yeah, I'll get through it. So anyone else can get through that as well. So yeah, man, I'm really big on mental health, to be honest, because I want to, I don't know, my goal is to like change the world, innit? I want, yeah. I want everyone to smile and laugh. I like so, that. Trying, I'm getting there bit by bit, so. What's the saying? Isn't it like smile like Bash? Of course, man. That's the one. Look at my smile. Obviously, my slogan of the day is smile like Bash. That's how you see this smile. Smile like this, you'll be all right. We love that. How did you get through the dark times? Oh, man. Um, prayer, family, and loads of weed. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very religious, so I pray a lot. Um, I don't know, my mom, my family, like my friends, you know, they're there for me on times where I even think like it's possible to like, you know what I'm saying? So there's times where you get times when you're very, very depressed, where you feel like, yeah, the only way to, to solve it is to not be here. Yeah. So I mean, I, I, I get those days to the point, man, I remember there was one time, I don't know, I don't, it's not that extreme, but there's one time I used to stay in a block of flats, innit? I stayed in the 21st floor <clears throat> and then I was going through mad madness. My mom didn't even notice. And I just I just thought, yeah, bruv, jump out, it's finished, it's there. No more pain, innit? But then I, I, I phoned feds and I started talking to the fed on the phone and then the, the woman was so nice. So folks hired me to came to the yard and then I was on like suicide watch for like, I think it was like three months. Um, so they kept coming to my yard to like see yeah. if I'm okay. They even moved me down from the 21st floor to the first floor. And I just felt like, yeah, there's, there's people that need me here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's friends that need me, family that need me, and I can't be that, that stupid to do that. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, man, just prayed a lot. You know, my mom gave me advice. My friends gave me advice and stuff. And gradually I started to get a bit stronger. And um, I still have those days, but it's like more like nine, it's like nine ten percent now. Yeah. You know, I'm still there, but now I just shrug it off in it. Like, I know how to handle it. But yeah, so I want to try and help people to go through that because there's a lot of people that don't make it. Really? Some people just get to the point where it's like, yeah, it's finished right here. But yeah, I want to be that guy that can help. Like, yeah. doing what I do, knowing that I've helped someone recover from something proper major is better than getting paid for a job, which, for is, which is amazing for me, so. Do you know what? Um, a little message that I have for a lot of people, obviously, that like, go through a lot of mental health is, like, you're okay, like, you're, you're fine, everything's gonna be okay, like, you just have to think that. You know what I'm saying? I know there's times where you may think it's not possible, um, but I'm not gonna lie, at the end of the day, like, it's, it's beautiful when you get to the point where you can actually say to yourself, this doesn't scare me anymore, this doesn't affect me anymore. And, like, people, like, family and friends, I feel like, talk to your loved ones, you know? Like, a little, a little phrase can change someone's whole day. Like, so if you know that there's someone that doesn't, that talks a lot, but is not talking today, just message a little, yo, you good, will change someone's life. Like, that's so facts. So yeah, just message everyone, make sure they're okay, and just give them a little nudge and tell them they look amazing and they're doing really well in life and you'll see what that'll do for them. So that's, 
little message. Thank please. you for sharing that and being so vulnerable. I no, feel like right. I think it's so important when it comes to like suicide prevention and mm. things like that that people need to realise like as much as it can be in that moment and you feel like I just want to end my life, mm -hmm. people forget like the impact that it will have on everyone else around you. You know, it's like so it's so good that you're able to take yourself out of your headspace for that one moment and be mm. like no for the people around and then be so inspirational and think about like mm -hmm. everyone else and want to make people come out the Sh other side. Do you know what I found out? If you give someone 10 seconds of your time, it can change their whole lives. Yeah. Sometimes I read through my DMs and what I read, oh, it's nuts. Yeah. If you, you if you, <laughs> I'm gonna no, cry. I'm just serious. If you read it, like to be honest, like you, 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 you cry probably. And me just messaging someone saying, yo, you're good. Hope you're blessed. If you need anything, shout me. You can message you anytime. I'll follow you back. Just that can change someone's whole year. And, yeah. and if everything that they plan to do to themselves, from just that little minute that I gave you, it changes. I'm th I don't think I'm, I'm breezy. I'm just the guy that I am now, innit? So just that time that you give someone can change the whole day. So if I can do that for all the 12 million followers that I have, yeah, I'll do it. I, I mean, that. so yeah, man. Thank you. I need a minute. Oh. I really need a minute. That really made me quiet. Well, don't do that. No, I think it's really powerful when a man is vulnerable and just, just even just with that, anyone that is struggling, like, please speak to somebody. Yeah, no, sorry, I had to just take a minute. <laughs> but I really appreciate you opening up about that. I feel, I feel I got really emotional because it's Jim and something just hits home. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, thank you. Talking about it actually helps big time. So, yeah, man, you yeah. So how do you deal with, like, the fame? I prefer the money. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really like the fame, you know. It's got its perks, you know. Sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's good. But sometimes you just want to just grab it, put it in a box, lock it, and then toss it away for just for a couple of days, innit? I said, you know, I'm 50-50 about it. So how many girls have you slept with? It's like that. Mm-hmm, it is like ah. that. <laughs> bruh, she mad. How's she asking me these questions, bruv? Like before the fame or after the fame? <laughs> yeah, can't believe both. Oh no, I'm gonna figure my waist, man. Oh no. Come on. Why is he avoiding this question? He doesn't like it, does he? If I say you, you have to say yours too, then? Never. Why? I'm trying to get to know you. That's fine, that's no problem, but you gotta tell me yours as well. Maybe. Even if you have to whisper it, that's fine. I won't, I won't tell them, obviously. <laughs> um, Jesus, oh, um, do you know what? I don't even know. I swear I don't know. That many? Do you know what, F it. Um, before I was bashed in the Tino, it was five, six. When I got popular, fifty, maybe sixty. I don't know. Fifty plus. I, I, I don't know if I have it on my notes, but I have like names. <laughs> Stop it. I used to have names. No, only. So I stay in Scotland. So four hours journey, you're bored. <laughs> so I start thinking of all the names, and I, I put like. Just give me the list out then. Are you mad? And I put like ratings and that. But then I took that off. Ratings? He has the list of the names and he's rated them. No, wait, then I took it off because it's, it's, not, it's not nice. Yeah, the mean? ratings is not nice. Yeah, it's not nice, it's not nice. But I, I, I don't rate them as in like sex. I rate them as in personality. You don't lie. <laughs> what city do you travel mm. most and get the most sex? Manny in London. Really? Manny in London. London, Glasgow, Manny. Really? Yeah. Those cities are very good for, for shopping. I'm, I don't travel for like, for like sex. I've done in the past. <laughs> um, I, know I've, I, went to, I went to Kent from Scotland. Yeah, Stop it. Sweet thing. But yeah, long day. Do you... That was an old me. I'm, I'm giving away secrets. I'm giving gems. Telling her my body count and stuff and she don't want to give nothing. But I'll find out. You never told me yours. Mm -hmm. you, didn't, you didn't tell me. Yeah, you should never ask a lady. Why? And the reason why you should never ask a lady is because men get upset and triggered anyway, even if you'd slept with two people. So all I want to say is this, yeah? It's not all men. You say some, but not all men. Not all men are gonna yeah. act the way you think they're gonna act. So another guy you can say, oh, I've slept with 20. And you're like, oh, no, bro, you're, you're, you're used or whatever. Yeah. Nah, me, you tell me, like, right, cool, I mean, you do what you do. Sleep, whoever you? you want. <laughs> life is life, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, so. Now listen, I tell every woman, never tell a man body count, because they get upset, genuinely. Yeah, but I'm not your man, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not... man, and never tell okay, a man. Okay, cool, but I'm not them. <laughs> So you got to tell me. No, you're not them, but still. So never you've never told anyone? No. Most men get upset about it, honestly. Even okay. if you'd slept with two people, 
they're just upset that it's not them, I swear, I swear to you. I'm more likely to tell the guy that I'm going to settle down with, mm. my body count, if I know I'm going to be with them. Like, I'll tell them everyone. I don't think a man or a woman should tell their yeah. partner the body, the body count. You know, it's, it's not that big of a deal, to be honest. It's not. Right? All I want to know, though, is if I walk into a room mm. and you've slept with most of the women in that room, you need to tell me because I'm not walking in with like a stupid... Because this, what I'm saying, like, girls do this girl code thing. You walk into a toilet and they'll, I'm coming to you as a woman. Before you know it, every woman in there has slept with your man and it's embarrassing. Do you go down? I thought you meant to man him. <laughs> oh, God. Aye, aye, I do, aye. Yeah. Fam, I'll, I do it with pride. I ain't even scared of it. Chest up, peacock. You get it? Oh, me? <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Have you ever seen a boat? You see that thing in the back of the world that goes, yeah. yeah, my tongue, different, cuz. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like with going down on women, do you think there's like a negative like attachment to it? I feel like if you don't do it, not to every girl, obviously to the one you're dating at the moment. I don't know, if, she's, if she goes down on you, you can do the same for her, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's about pleasure in each other. Yeah, time. of course, man. I'm, I'm there, I, I do a couple, four or five minutes. Maybe a little hour still. Hour, oh, yes. Yeah, man, I feel like some, some men should do it more, but hey. Yes, they definitely is. should. This is what I'm saying. Say it and own it with your chest, lads. <laughs> My real exes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. I'm, I'm not trying to be cocky, all right? After you leave me, you want me back. I'm, I'm, I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe it's Juj, I don't know. It's, it's the source. So, if I go and speak to any of my exes and, you know, say like, oh, what are you saying? I know I can speak again. I know we can go on dates and dinner. Yeah. I cannot, but I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to have that. I'm not trying to make you, make you feel like, oh no, that something could happen. I don't want to put you through that. Yeah. I mean, so if I see my ex, like, oh, how are you doing? Long time no see, blah, blah, blah. Hope you're good. The way you think, oh, do you want to go for dinner? Nah, I'm sorry, man, I can't. I'm, I can stay, we can be friends, but I don't think I can have, have that, that one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, no. Do you think, as a man, uh -huh. the the one is like an actual thing, as in like, because I my theory is men will settle when they're ready. It's not about the woman. I kind of feel like when men are like financially stable and secure nah. in themselves, mm -hmm. that's when they choose. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't believe that. I feel like the right person will make you settle. You can be the biggest dog ever. Just do random Ibiza, yeah, Magaluf. But you meet that one person that just. That day you just met her and it's like, wow, you know how vampires sink? Yeah. Like that, you know them ones? Oh, I'm never gonna get married, it'll switch. Really? I'll never, yeah, of course. Because this is the thing I find like a lot of women have, it's like this superhero complex where every woman thinks that she can change the bad guy. You know, like you're like the bad boy. And that's why I kind of find it hard to think. That I feel like the woman can only change the guy if you get that. Yeah. That first moment connection thing. Is it when you first, do you is it like when you first see each other? Yeah, yeah, it's like when you both clock casually. you're like, it's like, it's, like, it's mad, it's a weird feeling, you're like, oh my God, she, she's just different. You don't even want just shmi and, and, and bounce. Yeah. You know, shmi, bad times and just keep her, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, I feel like there's someone out there that will make a man change like that. And vice versa, I yeah. think for women, there's a guy out there that once you meet him, you'll just feel like, oh, damn. Okay. What would you do if my ex was after you? If he was after me, mm -hmm. for what? Because you're with me. Or he wants to beat me up? Mm -hmm. Why? He's, he wants to beat me up because I'm, I'm dating you. Men move crazy. I don't really like violence, innit? I'll avoid them as much as I can. But if we meet, meet on site, yeah, I'll mash them up still. Yeah. If I can't it, do it, I'll just call my boys, innit? Yeah. I've got boys in jail still. <laughs> what would you do if I couldn't cook? <sighs> yeah, Mazza, can't be with gal I can't cook. Like, couldn't at all. Couldn't, no. We're eating out every time and I'm cooking. Yeah. But Are you trying to do? learn? Could be, but what would you do? If you're willing to learn, yeah, I'll, that's that's fine. But yeah. if you're not willing to learn and you never want to cook, yeah, I'll be your friend, innit? That's about that's it. That's it? Of course, I love food. You have, you have no, I love food. I better get some cooking lessons then. I don't do boxes food. I don't know about that life now. Nah. Could you cook? Oh, hell yes, of course. My sister's a chef. What would you do if I earned more money than you? So like, you're making what, 100K a year, I'm making what, 20? Yeah. I don't care. 
I would, I would mind. As long as you don't put it in my face. Yeah, bro, sir, yeah. If, if one day we ever have an argument and then you say, what, well, I make more, yeah, you're, you're single, I'm yeah. sorry. But what if I earned more money than you, but I still expected you to pay for everything and be a traditional man? Nah. No? Nah, that should be 50-50. Well, I guess what's mine is yours, what's yours is mine. I feel like in relationships, you, you have to compromise. It's got to be 50-50. It can't be the woman more or it can't be the man more. It has to be, you know, balanced. What would you do if your family didn't like me? If my mum don't like you, yeah, I can't be with you, I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't. No? If my mum looks at you and be like, mm, mm, mm. I see something, yeah. Yeah. Shake your hand and then I say, yeah, it. do your thing, man. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you think, like, I don't know, I always think mothers are always right. Yeah, of course. But sometimes, mums and their sons can be a, a difficult one. Of course, but I can't b date someone that, you can't see my family, they don't like you and I can't even bring you around them. Yeah. Someone, oh, it's your mum's birthday and then you can't come. Yeah, it's long. Yeah, it's long. What would you do if I wanted to invite other people into our sex life? Well, just a one-time thing. Just in general, in our sex life, we're together. Oh, uh, this is gonna sound so mad, but I will allow a girl, but not a man. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because I, I can't just sit there and watch another man shoot you still. I, do you know what, now that I think of it, I don't even know even a girl either. I don't know, if I'm really into someone, yeah. I, can't, I can't just sit back and watch someone else do something to you. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what's mad? When you're single and you do threesomes, it's lively, you know? Mad, it's fun, cool. But when you're really into someone, you guys have been dating for quite a long time and you love her and she loves you, and then she wants to bring someone else, or you're like, ah, it's yeah. mad. It's because your person's your person, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? But like, even like I say, if it's for a woman, uh, it's like, uh, uh. She can't really do much for me to be like, what? Yeah. But a man, they're different. <laughs> man just blowing your back out and I watch it. Never. <laughs> what would you do if I was going on a girl's holiday every other month? Every month you're going on a girl's holiday? Do you know what? I'm not that guy to try and stop you from living your life. And I'm, I'm not that dude. Yeah, but would you have an issue with, realistically, you're in a relationship, is it going to be a problem? I don't, no, I don't think so. Well, it's, it's once a month. Do your thing, like, you know. Really? Enjoy it. Listen, no one knows what's going to happen tomorrow. Nobody knows. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen in the next 10 hours. I don't know. Yeah. So why, why in the hell am I going to stop you from going on a holiday once a month? What's wrong with that? Yeah. You know, two years. I love you. You love me. I trust you. You trust me. Just have fun. Do your thing, but just don't be disloyal. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you have city girlfriends, yeah, I allow it. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah. I'll allow you, but you'll come back single, innit? Oh, really? If you have, like, city girlfriend, then, oh, eight figures, that's my type, type, nah. So, Bash, how do you think you've done on a date today? I think I've done all right. I feel like I've, 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 I've let out things that I, I would ne I'd usually never say. Really? Yeah, Thank like, you. so much. So, so much, like, I'm, I'm dreading it, like, a hey, mum, like... <laughs> but, uh, I feel like all that's in the past, isn't it? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a new... Yeah. New being, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I did, I, I did, I did okay. Yeah, it's been fun. I like, yeah. Well, know. cheers to that. Thank you so much, man. I had, I had a good time. Lovely. Cheers. My day was good. I feel like, um... I feel like my day was good, man. I had a, had a fun time, you know, a couple of smiles, a couple of laughter. I um, had, a, had a great time, to be honest, yeah. How was the day? I cried. No, but I had a really good time, and yeah, it's just, it's been, Joe and it's just been a really good time. You know what? Yeah, I would, yeah, I would. Yeah, of course, yeah, 100. She's, she's a lovely, lovely, lovely person, so, yeah, I feel like, like there's more questions that I need to know, innit? That body count and that, you get me? <laughs> I think I started off grilling him, and then I feel like, because he was just being honest, raw, and vulnerable, I didn't need to grill him, so yeah, how to grill. I think I handled myself, a, how did I handle the grilling? Oh, um, I think I handled myself a little bit okay. You know, the, sometimes the questions were in there and I was so shocked that I, I even answered, but yeah, she got me in some, she got me in some. No, I definitely see Bash again. I feel he's just like a good guy, so regardless whether it was another date, I feel like he's just a nice guy to know. I think I'm a solid, I don't know, solid eight. I don't know, I don't know, eight, eight point five, I don't know. Hopefully. Pretty good. Yeah. 
I hope I hope I. What was the, what's the highest? 9.2, I believe. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I even got... Sneak Yeah, I don't even think I got close to that, but hopefully... Yeah, 8.5 probably, yeah. You'd be happy with that. Yeah, I'll be happy, I'll be happy with it. Do you know what? I'm thinking about it because it's kind of like all the qualities that I would want in a man, Bash does hold them. So I kind of feel it, he's emotionally available. The fact that he's able to be vulnerable, the fact that he you know, has a good career, could be a good provider, and he seems like a, a really nice man. I'm gonna give Bash an 8.5.